Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Mercy. Today we're going to be testing out some new viral and hyped up drugstore makeup products. So if you're interested in watching me get played by the drugstore because, spoiler alert, that's what happens, then keep watching. Okay, so for primer today, we're gonna go in with this one by Wet n Wild. It is their new Impossible Primer. Um, it is, says that it is the silicone-free primer that does it all, so I guess we'll see how accurate that is. Um, if you're wondering, first of all, I'm gonna take this tab off, um, but I did spend some time in the sun over the weekend, and for some reason, my camera is like super picking up my sunspots, like in real life, I don't, <laughs> I don't look like this, so it's just very interesting. So this is what the consistency looks like. It's just very silicone looking. So I guess we'll just kind of see. I'm hoping it does some blurring. Um, the foundation that we're gonna be using today is like a very lightweight one, so we'll see. Um, it looks very silicone-y like I mentioned and like I showed you, but it does not feel silicone based. <laughs> I cannot get over like how freckly my face looks. Holy smokes. And I also can't get over that there's like sawdust in my eyebrows. Um, I apologize in advance if you can hear any like banging or noises. Um, I have a contractor here working on my floors, so there's that also we're not going to talk about my hair and the fact that it didn't turn out the way that i wanted it to. we're just not going to talk about it instead we're just going to go in with this new foundation from revlon um it is from their color stay line and it's their light coverage foundation i have mine in the shade 130 porcelain and to apply it i am going to go in with my morphe x jacqueline hill brush in jh03 <laughs> one of the things i like don't prefer about drugstore makeup or cost-effective makeup is that often the packaging or the sealant is like breaking into Fort Knox. It's like why? I, just why? I'm really not sure how much to put on here so I'm just gonna do like that much which I think would equate a pump and tilt my mirror up so you guys can see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm doing. So does it tell us the claims on here? It says up to 12 hour wear. We'll see about that. Um, I'm probably not gonna do a wear test today. However, I'm happy to include in a comment down below how this pans out for me. Well, you know, they really were not kidding when they said light coverage. Um, because literally I think I could have like splashed my face with some water and gotten the same effect. I'm gonna just try a little bit more that much. Just see if we can like get an actual light coverage, like not a dusting. It does smell like paint. So <laughs> there's that. Hmm. Initial thoughts here. I understand that it's supposed to be lightweight and light coverage. And so to that point, yes. I see what it did there. Um, but can you guys see, like it looks kind of like crusty dusty in some of these spots on my face. So literally no coverage, which is okay. Like, okay, all right, you're a light coverage and you like, clearly state that so to that point like got it however like the crust I just don't know I don't know and I something worth noting is I have combination skin um and so quite frankly depending on the season it leans one way or the other so sometimes it leans dry and sometimes it leans oily and right now I would say it's like normal to dry so I guess to the foundation's credit, like that is something worth taking into consideration, but I'm just not really, um, I mean, I'm also really not feeling the sawdust in my eyebrows and the iron here is I just washed my face cause I was like, oh, I wanna make sure I have a clean base to put this on. So that's just really lovely. So initial impression is I'm not amused, not loving it 
not loving it. Um, however, I am going to go in with this very viral product. This is by, of course, L'Oreal. It's their Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation Powder. Um, I have mine in the shade 10 Porcelain. And we're just going to go in with this It Cosmetics Brush from Ulta and apply this all over the face. For full disclosure, I have already used this and I know that I like it. I do not have a concealer today. Um, we're just going to go for light, I mean, can't get much lighter coverage here really, but light coverage, but I think hopefully the L'Oreal will provide some coverage that the Revlon was not willing or able to provide. I think with the L'Oreal powder on top of it, it looks okay. But even like right in here, the L'Oreal wasn't really able to save it from itself. <laughs> so hmm. I would, I probably will never use the Revlon foundation again, if we're being really honest. Um, I think we're lucky and cursed in a way to have such great products on the market because it's like my patience for products that do not perform well is like, negative 10 you know I just and I don't I am venturing to guess I'm not alone in that that it's like if if I stumble across a product I don't I don't want it to be good for the money I want it to be good you know what I mean and so sometimes I kind of struggle with beauty bloggers that are like this is a great product for the money and it's like no 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 is it a good product if that were packaged and labeled as a hundred dollar item or a five dollar item would you use it again um so <sighs> this is a no this is a, a just a really um just a really hard no um I did have this powder as well this is not like as new but it is by covergirl it's their clean fresh powder um I have mine in the shade 110 porcelain um so I'll try to use this in a future video first of all I love the packaging second of all I really enjoy that covergirl is now cruelty free um, I'm really wishing that L'Oreal would be one of those brands that does indeed go cruelty free because I love their stuff, you know, um, I have a couple different products here by Physicians Formula and I do have one more by Revlon. This is their Skin Lights Prismatic Bronzer. Um, it looks like they're going to make us go through Fort Knox again to get in here. Yep. Yep. Yep, we sure are. We sure are. And I forgot to mention, I will link all of these products down below um, if I can find them online so that you guys can check them out. And I will like put an asterisk <laughs> next to that foundation that I just, um, in good faith, if you have combination skin, I cannot recommend it. Um, if you have enlarged pores, I cannot recommend it. If you have pores, I cannot recommend it. I cannot say, yeah, you know, for the price. <laughs> just no, no, I don't, no, 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 no. I don't care how much money it is. I don't think you should buy that. If you, if it's a product that you love, of course, um, please don't, you know, take this with a grain of salt if you love it. Um, but if you're like, hmm, I wonder if that's any good. It's not, it's not. And great news is that 17 hours later and we're almost, and I do mean almost into this bronzer. Holy smokes. Okay, jeepers. So this is what the bronzer looks like. I think this looks really pretty. So hmm. I think we'll try this on one side of the face. And then I have a couple other bronzers. I have this one by Physicians Formula and this is their Matte Manoir Butter Bronzer. Um, I've had historically good luck with the original formula of the butter bronzer. So I have high hopes for this as well. This one... <laughs> So I think, I think there's supposed to be coconut in it, but you know who, what it smells like and or rather who is my gram. My grandma's a big, um, Avon advocate and this is what that smells like. Hmm. I, I'm not against it. Um, for me, it's a nostalgic scent, but it's something worth noting. It's like kind of has like a powdery perfume scent. Um, and it does come with this little, um, brush that I will never use. So we're just going to tuck her right back down there. So I think on one side of my face, I'm going to go in with this. And then on the other side, we'll go in with this. And of course I'll use two different brushes, um, for the Revlon side, I'm going to go in with my Morphe GH04 brush. This I didn't mention, but it is in the shade 110 sunlight below. Um, I believe they had a darker shade as well. 
Do you see anything? Revlon, please give me one product I can recommend. <laughs> well, isn't that interesting? So it's not bad, um, but it's not good. <laughs> so another, that's a, that's a bummer. Doesn't this look like it's gonna have like a sheen to it? And it really just doesn't. Let me just swatch it. Like am I, maybe I'm using the wrong brush. Yeah, no. Okay, so I was misled by the packaging. I guess it's like, it's not a super matte bronzer. Like it does have like a little bit of sheen. Let me see here. This is um, admittedly a dirty bronzer brush, but I'm gonna try it. It's my Bannington Beauty bronzer brush, and I tend to like this with more fair bronzers. And I'm just wondering if it can be built and blended a little bit better. No. <laughs> no. Let me just kind of clean up this side because I went a little crazy with the bronzer, and I'll be right back, and we'll test out the Physician's Formula one. <laughs> okay, I'm back. It's a little bit better. Um, it's not like you know, hugging my jawline anymore. So we're going to go in with this Physician's Formula bronzer and to do it, we're gonna use a brush. <laughs> and we're gonna use this brush. This is by Blinged Brushes and this is their F3. Oh, nice. It has a decent amount of pigment. So I'm not gonna have to keep digging into it, which is great. Now this is something I can get behind. And this is coming from somebody who I don't prefer um, a matte bronzer. I, I like something usually with a little bit of luminosity, which is why I was like really hoping this Revlon one was gonna be something. Um, but it's not. I just think this side looks better. It's a little harsh right now. But the other thing, the other thing worth noting here is that I think both of these would look a hundred times better <laughs> if I had a base that didn't look like caca. You know, if I did, if I had some kind of face base that didn't look atrocious, I think maybe this side wouldn't look as bad, but it just, doesn't it look like orangey a little bit and a little muddy? I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. The next product we're going to talk about today is also by Physicians Formula. This is their all-star face palette. Um, I saw, I got this probably about a month ago at my local Walmart and I just thought it was really cool. So it does, it does have their limited edition matte bronzer. We're going to go in with the Happy Booster. I remember, so I have been a big fan of drugstores my entire life. Um, like for fun on Sundays, that's what me and my mom would do. We would just go peruse drugstores. Um, and I remember I worked at a drugstore for an extended period of time. What is this? And this is a joke. Um, I digress. I like always saw the Physician's Formula Happy Booster blushes and I always wanted one. Um, but at the time, and even still, Physician's Formula, as far as like cost effectiveness goes, they are not doing well on that scale. I feel like they are still a pretty expensive brand, especially for the drugstore. This, however, I will say was like $15, which eh, it's not like a bargain price, but it's not a bad price for what you get. Um, and of course, as I say that, I'm like getting frustrated with this blush. Or rather what blush? So I feel like I'm going in with a pretty heavy hand and powder is getting literally everywhere. So I'm just gonna show you. I'm really going in and you can see there's like buildup. Let me just really try to soak it all in. Where is it? Who knows? Who, who is this working for, for blush? It is providing a luminosity, but I'm not asking for a luminosity, I'm asking for a blush. So, okay. 
Okay, I'm back. My thoughts are collected. I'm disappointed with that blush. We're going to try the highlighter. And we're going to hope for the best. This is their Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls that I'm going into right here. This, I probably, and I bought this knowing this, I'm probably not going to get a lot of use out of this. Gold highlighters on me, for some reason, look like I've been, like, mining. Um, and I look, I just look not glamorous at all. So I'm going to see how this goes. Ooh. <laughs> That's really pretty. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, we found something that works. We found something that works. Okay, okay. All in all, I do actually, I think the palette is worth it. This blush is absolutely trash. So I think it's gonna ultimately be like one of those personal preference things where it's like, if you go into this understanding that this blush is not going to show up on you unless you have passed away and your skin is drained of all life and color, then you're gonna be, be I think termed something worth noting about this palette is that I did not see any variants as far as the tones and colors in the bronzers go so this is not going to work for very many skin tones at all so if you're similar to me I think that the bronzers and the highlights might work for you um but it's just something worth noting it unfortunately I've never personally tried this powder so I can't really speak to it but I think as far as like $15 goes this for me is worth it um and I would pay less or more based on how it performs because I know with some of my higher end, less cost effective products, I will get shades that just don't quite work for me as far as tone and I still keep them because there's other things in the palette that work. Um, so it's for me, $15 is a value for that um, and I would pay a higher and I'd certainly be happy to pay a lower price as well. So for brows today, um, Revlon. Revlon had so many things in my local Walmart that identified that they were new. So I just went buck wild. Um, so this is their Colorstay Brow Lights Pomade Pencil in the shade Blonde. Um, based on the experience we've had Rev with Revlon today, I'm really not overly optimistic, but we're going to try it. Um, if you know, you know, and if you don't know, my favorite eyebrow product is by NYX and it's their, um, pencil that's a pomade so the shape of this is just a little chubby here um and on this side here I'm not sure if you can tell like in this yes there we go you can kind of tell that um over here there's like a sparkly side and my understanding or my best educated guess is that it's supposed to reflect like hair like the way that our hair glistens so let's just see There's definitely a learning curve with this product, but it's not, um, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So oddly enough of the Revlon products we've tried, we've tried today, this is the most interesting looking and yet the most effective. However, if you are somebody that is going for detail, somebody that is going for Precision. Somebody that is not me that has like a vague idea of how to do eyebrows, you probably might not like this. Um, I'll say that for me and who I am and how I like to do my makeup, brows are like pretty well on the totem pole. Um, and I know that my opinion is very unpopular in that way. However, I'm looking for like one and done. I don't like doing my brows. It's not a part of my routine that like I find therapeutic and I find enjoyable. So quite frankly, I'm like kind of happy. <laughs> to just get them on and be done. So for me, this is a win in an odd series of events. So if you're somebody that likes a one and done, I think you're gonna like this. There's a little bit of a learning curve and you wanna just be mindful about the angle that you're holding it at just because you'll get the sparkly stuff up here and then you gotta like go in with a little brush um, that looks like this and try to get it out of there. But I think like, do I, are they Instagram brows? Absolutely not. Am I ever going to have Instagram brows? Absolutely not. Um, I just, I don't have the patience. I don't have the willpower to do that. And that's my journey. So let me be. <laughs> we have a mascara to try out. Um, 
And spoiler alert, I've already tried this and I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm gonna actually not do my eyes right now because I think I'm gonna do a separate video dedicated to my little peeps. So I can with confidence say though that this big bad lash was not big or bad. <laughs> so what I can say is that my personal preferences, I prefer a, an elongated, elegant, fluttery lash. And this did not elongate them, um, became kind of clumpy. It was a little bit too wet of a formula. So I think what I'm gonna do is let this dry out a little bit and see if it's a formula that with time I might appreciate a little bit more because I know historically that it has been something that I've tried and has worked for other products, but right now I can't with good faith say this is great because I really don't like it. <laughs> so final thoughts, um, based on today's festivities, the top products I think for me today are um, the brow pencil, oddly enough. Um, I really, really like this. If you do not like an emollient formula, if you do not like big, chunky, <laughs> eyebrow pencils you're certainly not gonna like this however if you are like one and done I just want to slap something on there so that you can like tell I have eyebrows and I just want to move on with my day or move on with my routine I think you'll like this um the other thing I think that you probably would not be disappointed by if you were my skin tone is this palette right here um you will be sorely disappointed in this blush that is just like glitter powder and does nothing as far as pigment um but I think that the other products in this are worth it so those are the two standout products if you see this Revlon foundation I want you to like just step back just step back just look guys just look at my face like this is not the move so this is an absolute no like do not pass go do not no um, along with the skin lights, I really thought that this was going to be, I really thought this was going to be something. And so I think that's why I'm like so sorely disappointed. I really thought this was going to be like, um, an illuminous, pretty blush and uh, blush. No, I didn't think that. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a luminous, pretty bronzer and it's just not, um, it does provide like some light sheen to the skin, but I don't think that it's like anything special if you're looking for a luminous blush. Thank gosh. If you're looking for a luminous bronzer, you're going to be disappointed by this. So in good faith, I cannot say that that is worth paying any of your money for. Um, along with this mascara, it just really didn't do very much. It made them clump up. It was too wet. There was no lengthening. There was no volume. Um, I, like I said, I am going to let this dry out and see if it's something that I can like finagle. But for right now, in good faith, I am going to tell you to stay away from this. I'm also going to show you the wand real quick. It is jumbo and it smudges. So don't just, just walk away. Just walk away, walk away, walk away. The last couple of products here, um, the impossible primer. I don't see anything wrong with it per se. Like I think that it did an, an okay job smoothing out the texture that my skin has. Um, so, I will keep playing with this happily and keep going with it. So it identifies, it mattifies, it hydrates, it blurs pores. Um, I do not think this hydrates. So as far as the claims go, I think that this is a nice cost-effective option and I would say that it mattifies and I would say that it smooths out pores. It does not hydrate. So just if you are a dry skinned individual, you might not like this. And then finally, um, this is an absolute winner for me. Um, I have been wearing this for a couple weeks now though, but I did want to include it in a video and just let you know that if you see this or you see this on TikTok or YouTube and you're wondering like, oh, you know, I understand that some products be can become really viral and people almost buy, and I, I've fallen prey to this where I fall into a hype around it. And then once the hype dies down, I'm like, oh golly, like I don't actually like this at all. So I'm trying to be very mindful of that. Um, so I have used this for several weeks and I really enjoy this. Hello, Katie from 20 minutes into the future here. Um, I forgot to mention that I did pick up this Wet n Wild matte lipstick. And just in case you were thinking, maybe she'll catch a break. No, she won't. This lipstick is atrocious. First of all, it's gotten stuck in my erases. Not great. 
Second of all, I really love the color of this. I thought it was going to be like a um, watermelon lemonade fantasy. And while I do appreciate that that is kind of where we're going with this, I feel like it makes my teeth look like ears of corn, which not what I'm going for ever. So if you see the matte Wet n Wild lipsticks, please steer clear. Less sticky now. But major, major unattractive this situation. And just look. Just look at how crackly. Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. Steer clear. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to my channel down below. As always, please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.